Hello everybody, Spiritual Whistleblower here live from San Juan, Puerto Rico on vacation. Uh, again, before I jump into this video really, really fast, super, super fast, for $1 a month, you can have unlimited access to all my old videos, okay? I made it a dollar a month because I know a lot of people are in between jobs, you're financially, you know, leaving a narcissist, you, you, you know, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be broke or struggling financially. So my videos help people heal. Um, I have over 500 videos. I've, I've taken my videos off of YouTube and I've stored them on Patreon. So if you want access to, I mean, unlimited access to all my old videos that go all the way back to 2018, for one dollar a month you can join my patreon you got to download the patreon app i will post the link below for you to join my patreon thank y'all so much let's get into this video okay by request you guys want me to start talking more about vexatious litigation i did a very short 30 second video on um the other day on vexatious litigation but you guys want me to do something longer and also i do talk about um there's a chapter in my book my co-parenting book um protecting upon co-parenting with a narcissist i talk about vexatious litigation in family court how narcissists toxic people very abusive people sociopaths they will bully their victims by dragging them to court and when they drag you to court they'll either adjourn the case to drag it out for instance for instance um if you're going through a divorce with a narcissist and they're they're very abusive they lie on your name they didn't told their family and friends they hate you and they can't wait to divorce you the reality is this you guys know how this works this is all reverse psychology while they're out telling everybody they hate you and they're looking forward to the divorce on the inside they're dreading the divorce because the divorce means them losing permanent control over you their victim and we know narcissists are incredibly controlling so as the date gets closer to the to the judge finalizing the divorce the narcissist the narcissist will resort to tactics to dragging out the divorce because he does not really want the divorce whatsoever even though he's telling his family and friends he can't wait for the divorce to get here trust me when the when the date gets closer watch the narcissist pull out all types of tactics not showing up to court requesting an adjournment um begging you to take them back trying to sleep with you again to get you pregnant they do not want that divorce y'all because divorce means permanent loss of their control over you their victim another example family court if you're co-parenting and you have a child with a narcissist this narcissist has never paid child support they don't give a fuck about your child and the reality is this they're in a whole nother relationship yet they're still trying to see if they can sleep with you and when you firmly let them know no i don't want to sleep with you no i don't even want you in my house let's focus on co-parenting for the child when are you going to give me money to help pay the bills take care of the baby that narcissist is going to get angry and discard providing for the child he's going to take his anger out on the child because you will not give in to him you will not lower your boundaries then the narcissist will take it a step further take you to court try to sue you for custody even though he he does not care about the child he does not love the child he will still drag you to court fight for custody and if the judge gives custody to the the narcissist or even joint custody that narcissist is going to dump that child on his family you know that toxic mother-in-law and sister-in-law they're all narcissistic they will be babysitting your child or his new girlfriend will and she's toxic it's all about control another word for vexatious lit litigation is coercive enmeshment coercive enmeshment it means the narcissist is forcing his way into your life whether you like it or not and they're going to find a way to bully their way to reattach themselves to you and they know damn well you don't want nothing to do with them they know you're trying to move on they know you're trying to relocate get far the fuck away they will bully their way into your life that's why many of them 
file fake police reports. They corroborate fake police reports to, to get a restraining order against you because they are trying to regain control. No matter how far you stay away from them, you stay out of their lives, you move away from them, you don't call them, contact them, they will bully their way. Yes, coercive enmeshment. Again, narcissists are, are known for impregnating and trapping their victims with pregnancy. They get you pregnant, they will abandon you to nine months. The goal is to get you locked down, coercive enmeshment through pregnancy, through marriage, through a mortgage. Don't ever, you know, financially, don't ever go into business with someone like this because they will abandon you with all the bills and responsibilities. And when you go looking for them, they disappear. They're not going to cooperate when you ask them to take their name off of the paperwork or dissolve the business because you no longer want to go in business. Again, a mortgage. You will be, you know, if you, you, you put the narcissist's name on a mortgage or apartment lease, they're going to move out and move on with their new lover and they're going to leave you with the mortgage. They're going to leave you with that apartment lease. Coercive enmeshment. They, they can abandon you because you're stuck taking care of, of something and it has their name on it so they have a reason to call you it's all about control vexatious litigation is when a toxic narcissistic abusive individual utilizes the court system to further stalk harass bully maintain control upper hand over their victim I know it's frustrating, but trust me, we're seeing changes. These judges are now getting hip. Uh, there was a new law that was passed in Seattle, Washington. I suspect that that law is going to pass through different states. It's going to catch on. Because the reality is, it's a waste of taxpayers' money when the narcissist keeps adjourning the case or dragging it out or filing frivolous, filing frivolous lawsuits. Lawsuits that waste time and money, everybody's time, because they are obsessed with you and obsessed with bullying you in that courtroom. Vexatious litigation. You guys, I have devoted uh, my time in the state of New York. I will be starting a petition to get lawmakers to pass a law that would protect victims from vexatious litigation. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. A narcissist will punish his child, drag his child into the courtroom to punish you because he, he knows you want nothing to do with him. He will, I've heard stories of them getting custody of their children. They're deadbeats to their children. And because you reject them and won't sleep with them, they sue you for custody, get custody of the child, and then they'll turn around and sue you for child support. So now they're not only controlling your child, they're also controlling your finances. This bullying through the court system has got to stop. Vexatious litigation. Will you join me in signing the petition for lawmakers to put an end to bullies wasting time, taxpayer money by utilizing the court system to regain control and an upper hand over their victims? Vexatious litigation. Y'all have a blessed day.